Yeah, I'm Jerry Custer uh, from Galva, Illinois. I have an extensive IH collection, and this 3588 is the number one 3588. I bought it on uh, Almond Auction uh, Saturday before Thanksgiving auction, probably 12 or 15 years ago. And uh, a fellow by the name of Glenn Maneric, uh, restored it. He was from Nebraska and he found it in a salvage yard in Iowa. Uh, and he's the one that restored it and took it down to the auction at Taylorville. I went to the auction to see the tractor, not to buy it, but it wasn't bringing hardly anything. It started at $5,000, nobody bid on it. And so I started bidding on it and I ran it up to 15000 and a friend of mine gave me the elbow and hit it once more and I got the tractor for $16,000. I didn't have a letter of credit or anything with the auction company, but I gave them a check and they took it. So, <laughs> And we had to go down and get it Monday. I couldn't find anybody to haul home, so we had to go down and get it with my truck and trailer on Monday. We went down and got it. It was still there. I was really surprised that the owner sold it for that. It's a tremendous piece of history and it's wonderful that it was Save from a salvage yard and yeah, that you've put yeah, in your collection. Yep. It has a new 1086 cab on it. The cab was evidently ruined either before or after they took it to the salvage yard. Yeah. Well, it looks like it just came out of the showroom. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yep. He's done a nice job on it. Well, thank you very much for sharing this tractor. It's, uh, it's just really cool. I've always liked the, whether it's called a Snoopy or an Anteater or a 2 Plus 2. They're, yeah. they're cool tractors. Yeah. And if you look at this tractor, I was telling you, my 43, dad's 4366 is sitting right next to it. And if you look at the length of the two tractors, they're both the same length overall. Yep. One's low profile. <laughs> yeah, you sit in the back of this one and you sit in the front of that one, which makes these look like a Snoopy tractor, <laughs> but really they aren't any longer than any other. And the nice thing about these, you can look out the back window and see the drawbar hitch when you're hooking something up. Those you can. No, it's a, it's a little <laughs> trickier to, to back into them. Yeah, that, yeah. that is a nice, that's a two plus two part of it. Is, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, thank you very much for the history and uh, just an exciting piece to be able to share. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah. It was exciting to meet Jerry and see the serial number one International 3588 tractor. The machine that you see plowing in this segment of the video is owned by Red Bibbs Bill, who is well known on YouTube for his tractor. The 3588 was introduced by International Harvester in the fall of 1978 and manufactured at the company's Farmall plant located in Rock Island, Illinois through model year 1981. A total of 5,643 units were produced during that time period. This tractor is powered by a 7.6 liter, 466 cubic inch International Harvester DT-466B engine rated at 150 PTO horsepower. It's fitted with a 90 gallon diesel fuel tank and features an International Harvester torque amplifier two-stage power shift transmission with 16 forward and 8 reverse speeds and can travel from 1.8 up to 20.4 miles per hour. When it rolled off the assembly line, it weighed in at 16,520 pounds and has a recommended operating weight of 17,620 pounds and can be fully field weighted up to 22,000 pounds. When the International 3588 2 Plus 2 was new, it had a base list price of 51000 Two hundred and sixty dollars.
I hope that you've enjoyed seeing this unique piece of International Harvester history. I would like to hear in the comment section below this video if you farm with a 2 plus 2 tractor or if you have fond memories of operating one in the past. Tell me about the model that you run and the implements that it operates. If you've appreciated this presentation, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there's over 3,000 videos of farm machines in action. As always, thank you for watching.